Hello, my dear friends. I kind of remembered that we left these poor people <laughs> running around with bees chasing them quite some time ago and haven't returned to help them yet. So <laughs> I said, okay, before we do anything else, we need to go back to Epona and help the poor people of Crescent Moon Village escape these bees. <laughs> So that is on our schedule for today. Hello, Miss Pamela Moon River. What do you have in mind for this situation? Oh, I forgot she has a southern accent too. Oh, this is gonna be great. Could Hayden help us? As you can see, the bees have gone insane. That darned Alberta. Ugh. When I get my hands on her, I'll teach her a thing or two. I've lost count of the number of times I've told her not to aggravate my bees. You're right, Cadence. No time to be angry at Alberta now. Not when we're surrounded by chaos. What? You think this sugar mixture will calm the bees down? How on earth are we going to give it to them? <gasps> what a clever idea, Cadence. I hadn't thought we could put it in a spray bottle and spray the bees. Are you sure you want to risk riding out and trying to calm them down? Thanks. Take the spray bottle with you and spray the bees. We just have to hope it works. Uh, this is going to be more fun than it probably would be in real life. Let's give it a go. Where's the spray? Right here. Oh, I think it worked. She said thanks very much. Gladly. No, don't run. I can't help you if you run away. Phew, that was close. Oh, that poor girl. Come back. We're trying to help you. Oh, this little boy. Oh, no. Ready? Ready? Got it. Alright, one more. Ah, uh, phew. <laughs> phew, that was close. Thank goodness it worked, though. Now the bees are calmer and buzzing happily around their hives in the garden. Thanks for your help, Cadence. Now perhaps we'll get a bit of peace and quiet. No, I'm sorry, Cadence. I've got no idea where Alberta went. Oh, gosh, did you hear that? No, what? What? Oh, she's screaming. What happened? What, was there a monster? Kelly, tell us. What's going on? Oh, that was about as long as that peace and quiet lasted. Sounds like Kelly's at it again. Cadence, you wouldn't mind riding over and seeing how things are going with Kelly, would you? At least ask her to calm down a little. Ha! Ah, will it be dangerous? I can promise you with Kelly, it's always a total disaster. Dangerous and deadly. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Thanks for going to check on her. Not a problem, I guess. Sniff boo! Do you know how close it was? I only got away by an inch. What? Oh, you know, you want to know what happened? It was that blasted Alberta again. She's what happened. I was gonna pet her. From nowhere, these fangs just appeared. It was the skin of my teeth that I didn't get her teeth in my hand. Oh, where is she now? Well, I'm about to get bitten to death, and you want to know where the little hairball is? What about me? If you have to know, she ran behind the house where Mr. Peach usually stands. Over here, is that Mr. Peach lurking behind the corner? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Mr. Perch. Did it say Peach? I'm pretty sure it said Peach, but I probably read it wrong. Oh, there she is! They're so scared of her. I think she's adorable. I like spiders, though. Because they eat the other bugs. Alberta! Oh, I just want to take her home and put her in my saddlebag. That must be Alberta. Yeah, I think so. Hiss. Hiss. Alberta seems to be a little nervous. You can't see the fangs Kelly talked about. Maybe it's just as well you pick her up and take her back to Professor Hayden. Unless she tries to run away. Ah! You escape Alberta's fangs by the skin of your teeth. If only you had something that could get her to calm down. You are back already? Did you find that little rascal? What? You say Alberta tried to attack you? You must be kidding me, Cadence. Well, yes, of course, I believe you. Don't get me wrong. But even if I don't like her very much, I have to say I never thought she'd attack anyone. Alberta's always been naughty and gets up to many shenanigans around here that it drives me crazy. She's many things, but she's never been aggressive. 
You want what's left of the sugar spray? Of course. What do you need it for? What a great idea. If it calmed down the bees, then perhaps it can calm down Alberta as well. Well, you can at least try giving her some and see if it works. I don't know why sugar spray would calm her down. I guess I don't really know why it worked on the bees either. Where's Alberta now? She was right here. Uh-oh. Alberta must have run away and hidden while you were over at Pamela's. You've got a feeling she can't have gone that far. Something feels very wrong. It's best you try to find Alberta as soon as you can. Oh, alright. We're on the hunt then. Ooh, a star! Yay! Alright, now we have like two. Fourteen! Searching behind... Oh. Oh, she's here! <laughs> okay, that was great. That was the first place I looked. I can't believe it. It's... You see Alberta drinking the sweet nectar mixture. Together, you return to the place you first saw her. Maybe you can take her home soon. Why'd we come back here? Alberta seems to have calmed down. She looks up at you with her big yellow eyes, and you can sense she just wants to go home now. You should let her sit behind you on car Caramel Dawn. <laughs> you should let her sit behind you on Caramel Dawn and take her back to Professor Hayden. Ah, adorable. Alberta, my little precious treasure. Where have you been, my little princess? Wreaking havoc. My little angel, where did you get to, hmm? No, Alberta, it's me. Why are you hissing and spitting like that? Perhaps you're just cold? My little sweetie, of course you shouldn't be cold. Easy now, easy, my little lovely. I'll get you a blanket. Oh, but I'm to get you a blanket. I have to go over there. Relax. You'll grab the blanket, you say, Cadence? Okay. It's in the backpack by the tent. This one right here that's within arm's reach? Here you go, my little princess. Your favorite blanket. Easy now, easy girl. I'm just going to drape it over you. Ouch! Alberta, what are you doing? I thought you wanted your blanket. Maybe you're just thirsty, or hungry, or... What are you saying, Cadence? That there might be something wrong with Alberta? It's just because she's not in the mood for her blanket doesn't mean there's something wrong with her. Would you like a blanket over you in this heat? No, exactly. Oh, sweetie, don't be afraid. I didn't mean to raise my voice. You don't need to have a blanket if you don't want one. It's fine. Would you like some food? Maybe I can make you some nice hot tea. Maybe we can go and look for frogs together. Would you like to look for some frogs, little princess? There's nothing wrong with Alberta, Cadence. <clears throat> if you're going to say things like that, then you could just get going. Alberta and I are going to look for frogs. You can't wait to look for froggies, can you, my little sweetness? Perhaps it's best you come back tomorrow to make sure everything's okay with Alberta and Professor Hayden. Yeah, because things are seeming a little weird right now. Hello, Ricky Winterwell. You look a little stuck. I'm glad we're cleaning up on these things that apparently really need to be done and we've just ignored. How long has Ricky been stuck like this? A long time, I guess. Oh, hello? Is somebody there? Hey, you girly! Could you help me, please? Ugh, I'm stuck. Could you help me lift this barbell so I can get up? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Could you hurry, please? It's really heavy. Sure, we'll try our best. Barbell is a little bit too heavy. Try again. You moved to the barbell. Whew. Here, I can finally breathe. Thanks for helping. Ugh. I'm really terrible at this. I can't even lift a barbell anymore. It just lies there, taunting me. I swear, if I could talk, if it could talk, it would definitely be laughing. I wish I could just get rid of it, but how's that going to happen if I can't even lift it up? If I can't lift it, how am I going to dismantle it? I'm really bad at this. Sorry, what? You'll dismantle it for me? Okay. Sure. The best we can, anyway. There. Thanks, you must be pretty strong to have been able to do that. Sorry, I totally forgot to introduce myself. I'm Ricky Winterwell, and you are... Cadence? Cool name. How come you're so strong, Cadence? I wish I was that strong. Have you practiced your jitsu too? You haven't? Thanks for helping me with the weights. I won't keep you any longer. I've never been able to do that myself. I'm such a loser. I don't even know why I tried to pump that much iron. Can't even believe I used to be able to lift it. Doesn't matter, though. Even if I could lift it, I'm nowhere near strong enough to win. 
Yeah, I used to compete in your 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 jitsu. You could say I got a little bit overconfident and thought I was the best. Probably best I crashed back to reality and realized I can't do anything at all. That seems a bit dramatic. Ugh. I don't want to talk about your jitsu and training and all that stuff now. Leave me be. Please, just leave me alone. I don't feel so great right now. You think I should take my mind off it with something else? Like what? Is there anything I need to get done? Now that you mention it, I have actually promised to build a new wild track for the bulldogs. Who are the bulldogs? They're the new Hillcrest's very own riding club. I just want to watch a movie. I don't know if I have enough strength to build a racetrack right now. Hey, I know. I can chill in front of the TV and watch Larry Porter. I've got all the movies at home. I could watch Larry Porter and the Prisoner of Alcatraz or Larry Porter and the Border of the Peanuts. <laughs> You're right, Cadence. If I've promised, I better do it. I just don't know if I have the energy right now. You'll help me? Really? Wow, that's super nice of you. Oh, wait a second. I just remembered that Nathalie borrowed my axe, so it's down by the stable. I can't build any obstacles without my axe because I need wood to make them. I'll probably just go and grab the axe another day. I really can't be bothered now. You'll ride down and get it? Okay, if you're sure. Talk to my girlfriend, Nathalie Moonriver. She'll definitely help you. She's the manager of the stables, so if you ride down there, you'll see her for sure. Cool. Off to meet Nathalie. Ah, oh, this must be Nathalie. Ricky Sachs, where's Ricky and who are you? Oh, nice to meet you, Cadence. What a beautiful horse you have. You must have been riding a long time, right? Anyway, my name's Nathalie Moonriver and I'm the manager here at the stables. Well, for as long as they're still here anyway. Sorry, you don't need to worry about our problems. How's Ricky? How come he didn't come to get the axe himself? Hmm. Ricky's not normally this down in the mouth. See, my Ricky used to be a top martial arts expert in your jitsu. Everything was looking great for him, and everyone thought he was going to win the Jorvik Championships. But that's when he lost the most important match of his life. Before that match, he always wanted to compete. He was always on the go and always wanted to work out. After that loss, it's like all the energy just drained out of him. I wish I could do something for him. I don't know if there's much you could do either, Cadence. Sorry, now I'm keeping you here unnecessarily. You came to get Ricky's axe. It should be round back by the stable. Or actually, wait. Grab two axes. I've just had an idea. Both axes are behind the stable. Did you find them? Great. Let me tell you about this idea I just had. Do you still want to help me and Ricky, Cadence? Great. I'll tell you my plan. Ricky used to be incredibly competitive. It was a bit awkward sometimes, but it was mostly pretty charming. He'd compete at every single thing. Who could brush their teeth the fastest, who could fit the most popcorn in their mouth, or which one of us could stay awake longest during a movie marathon. Since he lost that match, though, he's just lost all his will to compete. So I thought you could challenge him to a load of competitive stuff. It doesn't matter how silly or simple it seems, just challenge him at everything. Will you do that for me? Great. Oh, that makes me so happy, thank you! Now you get why I wanted you to get two axes, right? Exactly. You'll each have an axe so you can compete against each other. If this doesn't work, then... then... no. I can't even think about it. It just has to work. We need to get Ricky back to his old competitive self again. Thanks, Cadence. You're right. Together, we can do this. You'll ride back with Ricky? To the... with the axes now? <laughs> to Ricky with the axes? Awesome. Don't forget what we talked about. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Uh, did you find the axe? Was Natalie there? Ugh, thanks for bringing the axe, Cadence, but I really don't think I have the energy to go chopping down trees today. What's that? Nathalie said I'd completed, competed in your jitsu? Yeah, she's right, but it doesn't matter anymore. I'll never compete again, even if it could save the stables. The winner of the Your Vegan Your Jitsu Championships gets a whole heap of money. Money that I wanted to give to Nathalie in the stable, but you saw how it went with the barbell earlier. Why does the stable need money? Oh, it's not anything you and Carmel Dawn need to worry about. We've got enough worrying going on around here as it is. Oh, instead of cutting down trees, I think I'll just go and sit down to watch Larry Porter and the Half-Mud Prince. Excuse me, what'd you say, Cadence? You don't think I could chop down a tree? <laughs> of course I can. I just don't feel like it right now. What do you mean, race? You want to race to see who can cut down the most trees? Hey, that's... 
I'm not scared. Of course I'll race you in tree chopping. Oh, you'll see. Of course I can chop down a tree. I'll see you back here, and we'll see who could chop down three trees the fastest. Oh, if we're going to be chopping down trees, then we may as well chop fir trees. Nothing's as good as fir trees when it comes to building obstacles. Oh, okay. Compete against Ricky to see who can chop down three trees the fastest. When you're done, head back to Ricky's house. I mean, we are on horseback, but I don't know where he went. I imagine we're going out back here. So let's hop down, grab our axe, and, uh... Okay, here's one. Felling trees. Your horse is carrying a heavy load and won't be able to move as quickly. Where did I leave him? Oh, there he is! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> we almost fell! That was so close! <laughs> I kind of hope he won. Um, what the- how can you be that fast? Oh, I guess- I guess he did not win. You reckon I should be trying to level the score? We've already cut down all the trees we need, though. Another race? In what? The next step in building the obstacles? Well, I guess we need to tidy up these trees and get rid of all the twigs and branches. You think we should make it a competition, huh? Who can chop all the twigs and branches off the trunks the quickest? Okay, then. I'll show you this time. Ready, set, chop. Alright. Ricky gets started at full speed. We get started a little more slowly because I didn't know what was going on. Alright, one of three. Should we slow down? What? How's he doing? I don't want to win! Whew, bit sweaty now. How can you be that fast, though? I'm done. My fitness levels aren't what they used to be. You should have seen me at my best. Even that wasn't enough to win, though. I lost my final match from a lack of stamina. I thought I was fit enough, but my competitor was simply better. Stronger, more stamina. In fact, he was everything I wasn't. I don't have any more work in me right now. I've got to take a rest. Here, you can borrow my hammer if you'd like. Follow my instructions. I'll tell you what you need to do. Okay, we'll build an obstacle. Get an obstacle support. Place the obstacle support. Get the next obstacle support. Place the obstacle support. Get a pole. Place the pole. I'm getting it. I'm getting this. Beautiful. Nicely built, Cadence. I really needed to take a little break. There we go. You're doing well, so we might as well get on the next step right away. We need to paint race flags for the course. You've never thought of that? <laughs> we only use wooden flags here on Jorvik. I mean, in some bigger races, there are fabric flags, but in most cases, they're wooden. Easier to take care of, and they can handle rain and rough weather so much better than the fabric out in the woods. What? Why are you even bothering to challenge me to a painting race? We both know you'll win. Excuse me? Of course I can paint. I'll show you painting. Ready? Start painting on three. One, two, three! You think it's probably a good idea to let Ricky win this one so that he gets a little bit of his confidence back. Mm. Yes, that's true. We'll just go a little slowly, I guess. Take our time. Do a little painting. Painting slowly. I won! I won, Cadence! I won! Hooray, Ricky! I can't believe I won! Cadence, I'm starting to feel something bubbling up inside of me. It feels like I just want to run! I want to go running right now, Cadence. Come on, let's go for a jog down to the stable so we can surprise Nathalie. I just need to put on my sneakers and then we can get going. Come to think of it, where are my sneakers? I remember never wanting to see them again, so I threw them away, but I can't remember where I chucked them. Could you help me have a look? Oh, you might need to get some new ones there, Ricky. Oh, here's an, a box? No wonder the porch. These must be Ricky's running shoes. Best go back to him with them. There they are, of course! I threw them away here when I was angry before, but I'm not feeling angry anymore. Come on, Cadence, let's get out and run. When I used to run regularly, Nathalie or one of the bulldogs would come with me and blow into a horn to make sure I kept up my pace. I want to do it again now since I won. It's not hard. As soon as you notice I'm slowing down, blow the horn! 
Don't let me stop for a second because then my pulse slows. Just think, Cadence, I won! Maybe things are finally going to go my way. Let's run down to the stables and see Nathalie. Oh, okay. I have on boots. Oh, look! Our chipmunk is coming! All right, Pixel, you're in. All right, we're doing it. Pixel 2! But our horse... Carmel Dawn is still up there. Who's that guy? Oh, Carmel Dawn is down there! He beat us. What a good horse. Ivan Drake. Hmm. Huh, Ricky. Are you out running? Well, if you can call it running, allow me to have a little chuckle to myself. I won't be staying long, just here to check out my new gym premises, or, well, the dirty, stinking stable it is right now. Who's this nerd you have with you, Ricky? Cadence? I've heard that name before. I think my sister mentioned it. Who am I? Ha! I'm Ivan Drake. Oh, Ms. Drake's brother, I'm assuming. Ugh. Make sure you store that name away in your silly little pea brain. Oh, I'm sorry. Did little loser Ricky have something to say? You dumb little pipsqueak. You think you have a chance against me? Wow, you're even more tragic than I remember. You'll never beat me in the Yorvegian Yorjitsu Championships. <laughs> Let's imagine for a moment that you, against all odds, managed to win the district championship. All that means is that I'd get to look forward to smashing you at nationals. <laughs> In any case, I look forward to taking over this rancid mess of a stable and turning it into the gym and training HQ for total destruction. The elite Yorjitsu club for only the best and the strongest. What's that, Nathalie? Your precious little horsies won't have anywhere to go if the stable disappears. Aw, poor little fluffy horsies. <laughs> what makes you think I care about your dumb horses? I don't care if they're homeless. I don't care if you don't get to keep them. Get it? Don't care. Have a nice day, losers. Oh, and Nathalie, I look forward to the loan interest being paid on time this month. Otherwise, next month there will be a 78% extra charge. Maybe I should take your horses as payment, too. It would be nice to live so close to the training center. Ooh, this is bad news. Ivan, please, don't take our stable. We'll get the money, all of it, I promise. Just give us another month, please. Oh, no. I hate that little worm. Oh, I'm so angry. Ricky, what are we going to do? We can't let Ivan Drake and GED take over our stable. Where would all the horses go? I dreamed of having a stable where all kinds of horses are welcome and had a home if they needed one. We can't just let them take our stable. We need help from someone. Cadence, I know you don't have much, uh, you don't know much about what's going on here. A few years ago, there were lots and lots of money troubles over at New Hillcrest. Everyone was struggling for money, and even the stable started doing badly. It got so bad that at one point we came close to having to close the stable for good. If the stable had to close, then lots of the horses wouldn't have anywhere to live, and some of them might even have to be. <sighs> so Ricky and I talked to this new bank that had just opened that was offering really attractive loans, even if he didn't have much of an income. The loans were almost too good to be true, and in the end, it turned out that GED and the Drake family were the owners of the bank. When we signed the loan agreement, everything seemed above board, but now the stables and all my private property is going to be taken away from me if the whole loan isn't paid back very soon. Where will all the horses go then? Oh, please, Ricky and Cadence, can I just be alone for a bit? I need to talk to the bulldogs because I think it's time, because I think time's pretty much up for our stable and our horses. Urgh, that snake! He won't be coming close to either Nathalie or the horses again. We need to stop him, Cadence. We have to stop Ivan Drake, and I know exactly how to do it. If I win the Yorvegian Yorjitsu Championships, I'll get enough prize money to pay off the whole loan. I just have to win. Ivan's the reigning Yorjitsu Champion, and it was against him that I lost last time. If I could just win this time, then I could fix everything. You sure, Cadence? You'll help us? You don't know how much that means. Thank you. Together, we can do this. Come on, let's run back to my place. This time, I'm going to give it 120%. Don't let me stop. Whatever you do, Cadence, do not let me stop. It's now or never. Okay. 
Oh, well, we still have to blow the horn. We're almost there, Ricky! Keep going! Again, Carmel Dawn makes it back first. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Whew, I need water. You and Carmel Dawn should also get a drink. Shall we see who can drink the fastest? You're no match for me. I was talking about racing Carmel Dawn. Come on, Carmel Dawn. Let's see who could drink the fastest. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I don't know Carmel Dawn that well yet, so <laughs> I don't know how well he would drink. Pretty fast, I think. Haha, <laughs> 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 check me out. Who's the best? Me, of course. Who could drink faster than a horse? Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. That feels better, but it's going to be tough. I need to work really hard so that I'm ready for the district championship qualifiers. First, I need to qualify for a place in the district championships, and then I need to win them. Once I've done that, it's just the Yorvegian championships and Ivan between me and winning the gold. If I'm going to be able to do this, I need to eat right. Last time I was working out, I only ate protein, but I hear that the latest thing is to eat gluten-free food. What do you mean, eat a varied diet? What's that? Nah, kids, gluten-free is the way to go. I need to stretch out after my jog. It's really important to cool down. Could you ride over to Jamie Olive Tree's bakery and buy some gluten-free bread for me, please? Great. See you soon. All right. Jamie Olive Tree, who I like a lot. So let's go say hello. Hello, Miss Olive Tree. Welcome to New Hillcrest's loveliest bakery. Gluten-free? Of course we've got that, sweetie. Just a second, I'll grab some for you now. Are you new here, by the way? I don't recognize you. Cadence, you say? Lovely name. My mom's uncle's sister's niece is called that as well. My name's Jamie Olive Tree, but you can call me Jamie. If you've got time, it'd be lovely to get to know you more. Always great to see a fresh face around here. Here's your bread in any case. It's a tiny bit burned, but you'll just have to scrape it off. Scrape it off? The entire loaf looks like a piece of coal. Best return to Ricky with it. Oh no. Great, my bread. Uh, is gluten-free bread supposed to look like this? It looks a bit burned. I'll eat it as soon as I'm done building the racetrack. Oh, all right. Well, we'll check in with you tomorrow, Ricky. Thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. This was interesting. <laughs> I'm glad we got to help a bunch of people here in Epona, though. I hope we can save this stable. That's kind of upsetting, nerve-wracking, and the, the fact that there's more drakes than just Ms. Drake, terrifying. Not okay with that, <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and give a thumbs up if you like the video. I'll see you next time. Bye!